Well, no sooner had uh, the most epic Capital One Cup final happened for Manchester United where they won scraping by on penalties. They now have another cup competition to contend with and it's the replay against Cardiff City. The team that they uh, drew against last time out thanks to an equaliser from Marika, Farika Makeda, former Manchester United man. And this is a very depleted Manchester United squad playing just a day or two ago with a lot of big names missing. Uh, so, have United won the Capital One Cup and sacrificed this one? These youngsters are out to prove their worth today. Well, for Cardiff, uh, I think it might be almost exactly the same team that started the first tie, obviously with Kenwin Jones, one of the main men up front, and Marshall in goal. Fabio at left back, former Man United man himself. The only man to retain his squad from the United side of things is uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger, who came on as a sub. Obviously, with no recognised captain, Bastian is the only one that could take it. Well, it's not the weakest squad by any means, but it's certainly depleted from a few days ago in the Capital One Cup final. This has not helped Manchester United's cause at all for a treble, but if they can progress here then uh, it's a job very well done considering the tired legs that a lot of the players were after the 120 minutes plus penalties football we had at the Wembley Stadium because Pavovic is the referee and uh, I think epicness is the right word Manchester United need to try and put that behind the, excuse me behind them at least for now as uh, they have this tie to contend with, which is a more important one to a degree because uh, this is actually a replay. This is actually to progress, and uh, don't forget, after a replay, if we don't get a goal here, we get extra time and penalties all over again. And I don't think Manchester United want that in any sense of the word. So they need to win in regulation tonight. Well... Louis van Gaal's second season as Manchester United manager has proven successful with the winning of the Capital One Cup. A lot, of, a lot regarded as the Mickey Mouse trophy, but it is a trophy nonetheless. And to me, that's a total lack of disrespect for the competition. And Manchester United will certainly not think of it as that. In any case, it's a trophy after two barren seasons. And Pierre forces already a shave out of uh, David Marshall. And shot by Yedney, of all people. And Marshall saves again. Well, super sub for Rico Makeda. Not starting the game today. This is going to be tougher on the championship side. As they have a lot more games to contend with than the Premier League does. By about six. And David Marshall already two crucial saves. One from Piero that forced a corner here. Good fist away. And uh, the story of the Arsenal United final was quite daunting to even explain. I mean, even I was nervous and I was someone commentating. Unbelievable stuff. Kind of here. What a progression day this would be. This is their best chance with Manchester United, a depleted force. And here's Pilkington. Or Pl Plilkington, I think. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. I believe Martin sought over by Blin. That's a great header by Villera. And here is Fabio, former Manchester United man and academy man himself, I believe. And Gunnarsson. It's over the bar. Crucial day this for Cardiff. Best chance they've got. 
with Manchester United still worn down by 120 minutes plus football in the uh, Capital One Cup final. A lot of people saying Louis van Gaal may have sacrificed one to achieve the other. But a trophy is a trophy. And like we said, after two barren seasons, Manchester United will certainly take anything they can get. Romero on the line, literally. Was to say there, but it goes out for a corner anyway. Three other ties going on. We'll bring you news of those as we get it, of course. Newell. Plinkton shoots. Romero, comfortable safe. Looking us into Newell. Sadi. Newell, Ben Arson, Jones, I believe it was Sergio Berahino that scored in the first attempt at this fixture. James Wilson, man from his loan to Brighton and have Albion, not cup tied. So he was able to play, and even if he was, he'd be cup tied at Manchester United anyway. Newell to Fabio. Jones to Sadi. Great tackle by Yednav. We're also pinned out by Piera. Danny Blind is to his left. Danny Blind. Good looking cross. And Ashley Young with a bicycle kick. Trying to emulate Memphis in his bike will kick against uh, Benfica in the first leg of the Champions League, the last 16. Maybe a picked out by Schweinsteiger. Bastion Swinsteiger straight up Marshall. Well, yet yeah, even Marshall can't pick that up. It's a bad pass, apparently. Or he was worried about that call anyway. <laughs> Here's Kevin Jones. Oh, and here's Kevin Jones again, and uh, Jones misses. It's got the better of uh, Valera, I think it was, but not the better of Marrero. Wasn't placed Ashley Young. Probably one of the most experienced players on the squad today, Young. Oh, only chipped away by Marshall. And only Fabio was just about alert enough. He wide for himself. Great cut out by Blind. And Blind has been playing superbly lately. And Danny Blind! And he's pretty wide. 
Well, like we said Daily Blend has been performing rather well recently. There, I think it might have just about cleared the post on the way out. Manchester United, thanks to these cup runs, I think game a game in hand or two over a couple of Premier League teams fighting for the title with them. Although Chelsea are a bit behind. Which is title rivals being Manchester City, of course. They won even points with uh, United ahead by a pretty margin of goal difference. It's been awesome. And with Jones and Whittingham. Shot was too tame and Romero was able to pick it out. And here is Andreas Piera. And it's going to come off Pelvier for a corner. Marshall's out again. Daddy Blind. And uh, the card defender literally threw himself in front of that. Jesse then got into the box. Pretty sure Danny Rose picks it out. Tries a shot against uh, Fabio. I think Young is probably. And Wilson. And maybe in some cases Piera and maybe Blind as well. No. I think I think all Fabio's former teammates aren't playing today, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Maybe James Wilson would be one that he did play with. Group Shaw's maybe another one. And Burnley are having a wonderful time. At Turf Moor, but they've conceded against Portsmouth, but they're still two goals to one up. Sardi, good uh, tag by Kenwood Jones, just couldn't keep the ball. And it's a great pass, and Wilson will pick out Piera. Definitely going to be the danger man tonight, Pierre Andres Piera. Scored in the Carling Cup, well, Carling Cup, Capital One Cup rather, before. Might have earned an FA Cup goal to his name as well. Oops. And Manchester United, I think frustration will be able to get in because it looks like at the end of the first half we're going to have a nil-nil draw again. Here's Noel though. This should be a test of Frilly and Grimshaw. The ball is everywhere. The referee has given a free kick to United. Foul on Yedniv against Jones. Well... Finally, it'll be back to the Barclays Premier League for Manchester United as they'll take on West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns. Easy grab by Romero, although the throw is not all that convincing. Kenwin Jones picked out by Grimshaw. Cardiff will have a throw in. Jones, Sardi. Well, another nil nil draw. It has been a hundred. And 65 minutes since Manchester United last scored a goal in regulation time. I know it sounds like a lot, but it truly is. Still a nil-nil scoreline after 165 minutes of football and Manchester United have failed to score. Is there a problem brewing here? Nil-nil at the break.
Welcome to the FA Cup. We have a second half. We have a nil-nil scoreline, and uh, in 165 plus minutes of football, we haven't had a goal. So we are still at nil-nil. Great header away by Yedneef. It's going to ask Jones. Blint is going to play it forward. And Wilson is going to get that. James Wilson. And uh, I think it's gone for a corner. No, goal kick. Well, James Wilson did the hard part. Kept the ball. Cut in. Just couldn't apply the finish. Bastion Schweinsteiger. Valera, Schweinsteiger. Oh, nice score coming through from uh, the Vatadi Stadium in Bournemouth. They have equalised against Liverpool. One all there now. Oh, and here come Cardiff City! Kevin Jones! Goal! Oh my word! Kevin Jones has scored for Cardiff. They take the lead. Manchester United have gone behind. And it's probably to be expected. It's great work here from Fabio. The former United man. Another one causing havoc against his old club. Kevin Jones does not miss from there. Romero couldn't keep it out. And I guess this is the price that Man United have paid. So, so tired from their most recent 120 minute slog against Arsenal. Cardiff definitely the fresher legs and it's told. Cardiff have the lead, but I think either way, I don't think United are really going to care too much. They just want to get some rest, I think. But let's see how, if they've got anything left in the tank to throw at Cardiff City now. It's a fresh squad, but no big names apart from Master and Schweinsteiger today. And uh, it's telling. And just as there was a glimmer of hope for Bournemouth, Danny Orge has scored for Liverpool, and Liverpool are back in front. Jesse then got. You have to wonder if Manchester United will intentionally just not score. They don't want another 120 minutes of football. They'll have no squad to face West Brom if they do. It's amazing how Cardiff have made United struggle. United have had pretty much strolls all season, but Cardiff are a team they've struggled against. They're old players in particular. Jones. Oh, Grimshaw. Oh, is there a foul? The referee doesn't give it. Cardiff had the ball anyway with Whittingham. 
As you can see, Cardiff have went through a kit change recently. Delera. Fabio picks it out, but it'll be a United throw. And uh, Aaron Gunnarsson is coming off for Anchezi here. Schweinsteiger to Blind. Piera. And there's really just no um from Manchester United. It's almost like they just want to write this game off and go home. You can't blame them, really. And we said, what price would Manchester United have to pay in one to get the other? And it looks like the Capital One Cup is the one chosen, which can make sense when you think about it. It's the first final they got to. But of course they have that game in the Champions League to think of soon as well. And Romero, no foul given against a collision of players with Kenwin Jones. Lingard. Jesse Lingard goes past one. The ball was dropped from a missed kick. James Wilson. And poor James Wilson. He's had a good, who had a good start to the season, really hasn't been on firing all cylinders recently. And uh, there's another one for him, another one going wide. But is there any life in this Manchester United squad? Depleted and tired. These might be highly played players, football players, and a lot of players will throw the excuse that, oh, these are highly playing athletes who earn thousands of pounds but they are still human as well Bastard Schweinsteiger scores and there is life in Manchester United yet and who else but Bastard Schweinsteiger to provide it Manchester United back in this tie and Bastard Schweinsteiger who played in extra time in the game against Arsenal brings his team back to life here and uh, we're back at square on I think Manchester United might try to push for another goal or let Cardiff score one. Manchester United not out of this yet. Depleted squad at all. Bastion Schweinsteiger makes it 1-0. And we're back where we started. These kind of... Long slog games are the ones that cause injuries to players. And Manchester United they already have three. With uh, Phil Jones. Marilyn Fellaini. And uh, Chris Smalling. Out for now. Headed by... Uh, I think it was Sardi. Well, Captain Bastian Schweinsteiger. He knows all about these sorts of things, doesn't he? No doubt he's been influential in a lot of United's performances this year. In the Champions League, he got two in the group stages. That helped you iron out immensely. A wild shot by Orgy. Cardiff are proving a real test for United. You've got to give Cardiff credit. Oh no, no shoots. And uh, the frustration telling on Noel's face there. Probably should have done better. Shalihani Obi has come on for him. That was his final action of the game. Oh, great tackle by Schweinsteiger, but Whittingham keeps it. And the OB faced Manchester United in his time with Newcastle. Piera. 
Andreas Pierre in the box. Chooses to be unselfish with James Wilson. And United have the lead. Great play from Andreas Pierre. And James Wilson finally gets a goal for his effort. And Manchester United somehow, some way, might just make it through here. It's what they have done for so many years. Fighting through adversity and injuries. It looks like they're going to do it again. James Wilson can't believe it. Goal for United. They are in front. And we have nine minutes left to play. Can they hold on here? United still look mostly on for the most unlikely quadruple opportunity here. They've already captured one with the Capital One Cup. They are in the lead in the first leg of the Champions League last 16 tie with Benfica by two goals to them. They are ahead here, or maybe not for too long. Romero, no foul given against him. Fabio puts it wide. They are top of the Barclays Premier League at this very moment on goal difference ahead of Manchester City and are now ahead here. James Wilson, that is remarkable. What a first touch to bring it onto that foot. Oh, Romero, bad mistake, Fabio of all people. And Piltier has smacked it. That's something you want to do when you're behind. But Fabio probably could have taken that on himself, remarkably. It would have really been something. Separated from his twin brother, Raphael, who went to Leon. Grimshaw. Schweinsteiger. Valera. Oh, and here comes Valera. Of all people, from the right back, Valera off the post. It's all happening here, isn't it? In the five few minutes, here's Sardi. Jones. Now Fabio. Piltier. Piltier with a cross. Pilkington clashes with Romero. And uh, great show of grace there from Romero. Goal kick. Fabio. No one to pick it up after the flick. Three minutes of added on time and Manchester United will be just thankful that they don't have to play another 30 minutes after this, one can hope. Still time for Cardiff to score however though. Manchester United really need an international break more than anything at this point. Of course that wouldn't account for much either. Because most of these players would have to play for their international teams. And guys picked out Ashley Young. Ashley Young gets pushed. David Marshall. And uh, referee brings play back for some reason. Cardiff free kick. Bizarrely. Sardi to Whittingham, blocked by Blind. The referee comes over, what is it? It's a free kick, right on the edge of the box I think. Handball by Blind, one last opportunity for Cardiff. Twist in the tail and it's going to be Whittingham to take it. And surely not, surely not, here he comes. And Romero's cut it out. And Manchester United kind of were broken by Romero. What a save by what was looked to be the former the number one at United until the higher side of his contract. And Manchester United thankfully progress through to the next round. It's just what they do. Manchester United here 
have uh, progressed. James Wilson providing the goal that does that. They went behind early on to Kenwood Jones, but Schweinsteiger, leader of men, Bastian Schweinsteiger, put the goal that put United back in it, and James Wilson finished them off. Thankfully, Manchester United can finally take a breather now after a hundred and so minutes, and uh, they have finally had a game that ends in regulation. <laughs> Manchester United 2, Cardiff City 1. Well, we'll have a look at the tree right now. Liverpool progressed against Bournemouth, sadly for Bournemouth, and uh, Class told there. And Class also told in the West Ham Blackburn game, where uh, West Ham won by a goal to nil. Progressing with Manchester United as well. Burnley 4, Portsmouth 1. Wow. The draw for the next round Sunderland have Burnley, Everton have Manchester City, West Brom have United and Liverpool have West Ham.